I thank you, my friend, for that uh, keen insight that you gained, faithfully serving our country in the military. Thank you for that service. And Madam Speaker, delighted to yield to another gentleman who has served us so well on the front lines of law enforcement before he got to Congress, Mr. Stauber, Minnesota. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Madam Speaker, I could speak for hours about this, as, this administration's multiple failures over the last year, but I only have a couple minutes, so I'll just cover inflation, one of them. Since Joe Biden took office, inflation has risen every single month. Americans are paying more for just about everything while earning less in every paycheck. This is not sustainable, and it didn't have to be this way. This administration is so out of touch with the average American that despite inflation reaching a 40-year high, they are still pushing for more reckless spending that will only make this crisis worse. American families are paying substantially more for everyday products, from gasoline to groceries to energy for heating their homes this winter. To heat their homes in northern Minnesota when it's 30 below for a week straight. Make no mistake, Inflation is a tax on us all, especially our working class and those on fixed incomes. It is no secret that we live in a very polarized nation right now. But there is one thing a strong majority of Americans agree on. Joe Biden's first year in office has been disastrous to the American people. We deserve better. Madam Chair, I yield back. 